for it. Hi everyone and welcome to the bench. Well today I'm going to tie you up the glass bead caddis emerger. Now glass beads have been out for a few years now and a lot of fly tires are really starting to use them. I tend to use them with emerging patterns because they really add a nice glint to the fly. Make sure you have these materials ready before you start to tie this fly. For the hook we'll use a TMC 2457 size 12. We we'll use some 8 aught olive thread some light olive sow scud dubbing for the shuck. For the body, we'll use some green blue killer caddis beads. We'll use some short fine deer hair for the wing. And for the head, some peacock curl. All right, we're gonna start the fly off by taking our hook. And we're not gonna put it in the vise yet. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take three of my killer glass beads. And this is a green blue glass bead. And I'm gonna put three onto the hook. I put the hook back in the vise with the beads on it and I put it on a bit of a tilt so that the beads stay towards the eyelet. Now I'm going to get some my green tying thread, tying a small layer. I've taken just a small bit of my light olive sow scud dubbing. Now this, I'm just going to tie on a little bit of the back here, get a little on there, pull some extra fibers back and tie around that. Make sure that you build up a nice little lump of thread at the back of the fly because you don't want those beads to go down over the uh, dubbing we just put in, the trailing shuck. So we're actually going to build up a little mound of thread to hold those beads up. We're going to take our hook and reposition it in the vise so that it's square in the vise now. And we have our thread still at the back of the hook. We're now going to push the beads back onto the little thread bump we made at the back of the hook, the bend of the hook, and we're going to pull our thread forward. With the trailing shuck at the back, we're going to leave Half of it is a trailing shuck, and we're going to take half of that dubbing we had in the back and pull it forward over to form a small wing case. And we'll tie it off. Take some fine elk hair or deer hair. I've actually taken a little bit of deer hair here. You can use the elk, but I've taken a small portion. Now you got to remember this is an emerging fly. It shouldn't have a whole bunch of whole bunch of deer hair on the top. So we're just going to measure the deer hair back, the length of the hook, and tie in a small tuft of deer hair for the wing at the front. To finish the fly off, I've taken a strand of peacock curl, and I'm going to tie it in for the head. A lot of times I will just leave the elk hair on the top as the head, but in this case it is a wet fly and I want to just finish the head off, cover up all that red. So we'll put a small peacock curl head on and tie it off. Well there you have it, the finished glass bead caddis emerger. Now caddis emergers are pretty standard, everybody ties them in different ways, but what makes this one so unique are those glass beads. When that fly is sitting in that top surface film, the glass beads seem to glint in the sun, especially if you have a sunny day, they glint and really seem to attract the fish. It is a killer pattern, give it a try.